Tinnitus is often described as a ringing in the ears. The noise can be a buzzing, a humming, a grinding, or even a hissing sound. What those noises have in common is they're not the cause of any hearing loss. Instead, they're a symptom of it. So what causes this ringing, and what can you do about it? Well, the first thing to say is there isn't a single root cause for tinnitus. In the majority of the cases, tinnitus goes away when what was causing it also stops. However, the damage is permanent, so also is the tinnitus. So why do we hear sounds that are apparently not actually there? Well, the ear is constantly trying to make a kind of a sound picture of the environment around us, noting which direction the sound came from, how loud it was, what was most likely to have made the sound, and also, is it a threat to us? So why don't we get really jumpy when it's all quiet and we suddenly hear a noise behind us? Ancestors knew when everything was quiet all around us, it was a possible signal that we were either trying to sneak up on something, or alternatively, something was trying to sneak up on us. So, in a quiet environment, the ears and the brain are straining to pick out that one clue that might be important. Unfortunately, when someone has tinnitus, the brain overplays or overemphasizes some of the very, very quiet signals in certain pitches or frequencies, resulting in the various associated noises. So what are some of the temporary causes of tinnitus? The most obvious one is some form of blockage in the ear, so a build-up of earwax or anything else physically in the ear can dramatically alter what sounds reach the inner parts of the ear. And any movement of that object also cause the sound to be created due to its position be perceived as very loud. Related to this can be any damage to the eardrum itself. It can be caused by a sudden loud noise or by pushing something into your ear. Now thankfully the body over time will repair most of the damage to the eardrum so it may take some time and not be a 100% fix. Another temporary cause is an infection a build-up of fluid in the middle ear. This is the area past the eardrum with those three small bones in it which amplify the sound coming from the eardrum. Any problem with this mechanism can distort the sound reaching the brain and therefore be a cause of tinnitus. However, over time the body will fight off the infection and rebalance the fluid in the middle ear. There are, however, a few things which can cause tinnitus to be permanent. First, is again those three tiny little bones in the middle ear, malleus, incus, and the stapes, which amplify the sounds on the way to the brain. These tiny, delicate bones are protected from most kinds of damage from their location and also being surrounded in fluid. However, there is a condition called otosclerosis, where the stapes, the bone, which looks like a stirrup, starts to fuse with the joining bones. Then bone then becomes fixed in place alters the quality of sound being processed by the ear as a whole. Another common cause of permanent tinnitus can be damage to the microscopic hairs in the inner ear, called stereocilla. Normally, these hairs bend a result of input of a particular sound. Literally, they're being hit by a sound wave. As they bend, they send a signal to the brain, telling it they've moved, or how much, and the brain can then interpret this as sound. However, these hairs can be damaged by prolonged exposure to loud noises. Unfortunately, any loss of these hairs is permanent as they don't grow back over time. So, if you want to avoid tinnitus and other hearing problems, be careful of what you actually put into your ears and avoid loud noises, especially if those sounds are going to persist over an extended period of time.